Hello, this is Bern, and in today's video, I'm going to reveal four common behaviors that typically sneak up on women, no matter how smart they are, and can make you waste months or years on the wrong guy, rob you of your inner peace, so you can spot them, avoid them, and get the love you want. Hello, this is Bern, welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here, and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner, Without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. There's a couple of factors that need to be present for a relationship to grow, for you to have fulfillment in a relationship with a man. The first one is intention. He needs to have the intention of having the kind of relationship that you're seeking. Second one is capacity. He might have the intention to deliver that type of relationship, but be in a situation in his life, whether it's physical or emotional or logistical of some sort, that makes it highly unlikely, if not impossible, for him to deliver on the promise that he claims to want to deliver. So because so many women reach out to me in the middle of a relationship that is painful and they don't even understand what's happening, I want to bring out four specific behaviors that most women miss when they start a relationship that can really give you a clue into what to do about the situation you're in and also when to step back and maybe take a break from the situation. I want to share this from a position of compassion. Why? Because the fact that a guy is doing this doesn't mean he's a bad person. It just means that he may not have what it takes to be with you, especially the first thing. The last one is more challenging, but still a person like that that serves your compassion, even if you're not going to be with them. And it's, it's a healthier way to come at than saying, well, he's an a-hole or he's this or that. I think that guys are doing the best they can. Sometimes they don't have the tools or the skills. And instead of becoming their therapist or their mommy, you just need to take a step back and allow them to get what they need and go for what you want right now instead of what might happen in the future if he changes too many things. The first one is ambivalence and lack of pursuit. Now, Unless you're a woman who highly enjoys pursuing a man, if you're the kind of person who prefers to ask the guy out on a date and then pay for the meal at the end of the meal and then set up the next date, most women don't enjoy this. Most women feel prefer for the guy to be clear about his intentions and to pursue her, not smother her, not chase her, but pursue her with clarity, with intention, with courage. And then they can show up and be full of light and energy and inspire him to, to be a better human being. If you prefer that type of a dynamic, then a guy who's ambivalent about you, a guy who's kind of not sure about you, a guy who's not pursuing you, a guy who's not maybe ambivalent about his own life. Maybe he's not clear about what he wants. Because if a guy doesn't know what he wants in life, then the, the, the energy he has to put into a relationship is not gonna be what you're really expecting of a lifelong partner. So if you are connecting with someone where it feels like you're more into him than he's into you, if you're connecting with someone where you are the one who's making things happen all the time and he's kinda like there for the ride and if you didn't reach out to him, it could be months and he wouldn't reach out to you, then my recommendation is that you move on. Second is confusion. And I'm gonna give you an analogy to make sure that this lands in the right way. Imagine that you want, that you have one of those topographic maps. I'm not sure about you, but I'm not great at those types of maps. And if you're in a difficult type of terrain where it's hot and sticky and humid, or maybe it's raining and you're trying to read one of these things, it's really challenging to get to where you wanna go, but it's doable. You can get where you wanna go, but you have to be good at reading the map and you have to be persistent and you have to be willing to face some frustration along the way. Now, if it's hard to get to the elevation you want following a map, imagine arriving to the destination that you want when you don't have a map. So many women connect with men who are confused about what they want. And instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to connect with a guy who knows what he wants, they say, I'm going to wait it out until he figures it out. So they follow him along that hike, him not knowing where he's going, but she knowing where she wants to go, and then wondering why she feels like about to rip her, her own hair off. Why? If you know where you want to go, if you're not confused about what you want in a relationship, but he is, you're in for a world of pain. Next one is high transitional uncertainty. That means that you connect with a guy who's going through a period of 
time in his life where there's too much uncertainty in terms of what's going to be the next version of him. He's going through a metamorphosis. He's going through a midlife crisis. He's in the middle of a divorce, for example. So that means that there's so many things financially and emotionally he's going to have to go through that if you're in it from the beginning and he's separated but not divorced, you might be in for a world of pain for a little too long. If you're with someone who just experienced uh, something highly traumatic in his life, including the death of someone he really cares about, that doesn't mean you shouldn't connect with him. It just means that he might decide uh, the next month to travel to Tibet for six months and be in a vow of silence, metaphorically speaking, and it wouldn't be unusual. He is not sure where the what the future holds. He's not in an emotional space where he has all his senses, where he can make the best decisions, where he can give you what you want. So I see, again, too many women who connect with guys and almost like they, they make it her, their thing. They're going to support him along the path of his recovery and pretty painful. So when you connect with a guy who's going through this high transitional uncertainty, this is equivalent to playing Russian roulette. Uh, you never know if the bullet's going to be on that gun or not, so you just better not play it, you know? The last one is slightly different from the first three in that it's sometimes more toxic in a, in a direct way, and that's when a guy is gaslighting. And he might be unintentionally gaslighting, get, bear in mind, he might not be aware of what he's doing, but it still hurts you, and it still poisons you, and it's still toxic. There's so many videos on gaslighting for me to create a long, drawn-out thing, but I'm going to share it this way with you, because if you, if you get it this way, you, you might recognize that it's happening. The first thing I'll say is most women don't recognize that they're being gaslighted until months or even years later because it's one of those things that make you doubt about your own sanity. But if you feel like the guy you're with, the guy you're connecting with, even if he's not your boyfriend right now, is someone who is constantly making you doubt yourself because you share something took place and he's basically saying that it didn't happen. And, and you're so sure that it happened, but he's convincing you with a clear, straight face that it didn't. Or maybe he's being aggressive or he's messing with your boundaries in a way that makes you feel upset and when you share that you're upset then he shares that you're in that you're too sensitive for example or maybe uh, there is always this type of argument where you bring something up even when you bring it clear-headed and healthy and he reverses it back and says that you're the one with the problem and that you're being difficult when it's just something normal that you should be able to talk about when you're being gaslighted you constantly feel like you don't know what's taking place, you doubt in yourself, your self-esteem gets lower. So if you recognize that that might be taking place, you need to get help. Don't try to figure this thing on your own. What happens when you're going through a situation like this? Well, two different steps. First of all, if you're just starting with a guy and he develops and you see one of these traits, ambivalence towards you, or confusion about what he wants, or high transitional anxiety or gaslighting, stop. Cut your losses and run. No need to invest in figuring out if this thing can work. It's highly unlikely that it will. Now, two, if you're in a long-term relationship with someone and he develops one of these things, then you might want to explore what can happen with some level of support, right? But the two factors, just so you're clear, that will make it either you waste your time in the attempt or make it possible perhaps for something like this to change will be that A, he recognizes that there's a problem that's the first thing. If he doesn't recognize the problem, then it's not going to change. Two, that he does something different to change it, including getting help. Because, again, if he doesn't recognize the problem, he's not getting help or not doing any new strategy to make it change, then you're going through insanity, hoping for the best while doing the same thing. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is and you want to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner and understand not just from your head, but from your heart, what needs to take place. I developed a free training you can access. Go to the first link in the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. Enter your name and email, and you can start watching my free training right away. If you enjoy this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, if you want my help hand-holding and accountability to get the connection and the love that you want in a fraction of the time, then second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.